teens and their phones go hand in hand, and scammers are catching on and calling the shots. Something that we had found was that teens are falling for online scams at a higher rate than seniors. Social Catfish compiled FBI and FTC data. It showed that over the last five years, money lost by young adults 20 and younger grew nearly 2,500% from 2017 to 2022 compared to 805% for seniors. A dramatic increase. Okay, so teens may be spending more time online than older generations, but aren't they also tech savvy? Here are the top five ways Social Catfish says they're being tricked. First, the social media influencer scam. What scammers will do is create fake accounts that look just like the actual influencer's account. They, they host... Um, They'll host like a fake brand sponsored contest. They'll ask them to pay a small fee or provide their bank account information to win that prize that they're, um, they're uh, sharing with them. Next, romance and sextortion scams and online shopping. They're fake websites created to look just like the online store selling items at a huge discount. Finally, online gaming in-app purchase scams. They'll do this through fake ads on the game. And in turn, the victim is not aware that they are unknowingly downloading malware once they've, they've clicked on the ad. To provide a layer of protection. It's the same advice we always recommend with seniors, to be honest. It's, you know, never give money to someone you don't know and, and do your research. Look into the person you're talking to. One factor that has contributed to the numbers going up, McClellan says, is actually a good thing. People were embarrassed before to come forward, and now they're seeing this is happening more, and they're feeling a little bit more comfortable. And so we just need more people to, to come out and um, help bring a stop to these types of scams.